If you're born in the 50s, you rode metal things outside and played with metal trains. Great finds, I just did a basement clean out and I got some cool stuff. Let's see what they're worth. This is obviously someone born probably in the 40s. Some of the stuff that they collected, some of the stuff that they actually made, some of their toys, and some of their adult beverages. First thing, I found some Lionel trains. Now, Lionel trains, the ones that are going to be worth the most money are the pre-war ones. These are not pre-war. These are still tin. This is a caboose. It's 10, 1682 is the Lionel Railroad. You can see there, these are all O-gauge. O-gauge are the bigger track. This is the bigger track. It's the metal track. This is when they let kids play with electricity. Didn't even care. Go in the basement. Don't shock yourself. There is a little transformer here. A little transformer. That's how you make the train go. You just... It might be locked up. Nope. Moves it. Pretty sweet. This is a whistler car. This car would whistle. You see the whistles there. We've all heard a train whistle. Lionel trains are easy to identify by. They all are pretty well numbered. This is another piece of electricity. Of course, this is Lionel. There's the L. It's uncouple, unload. You would do different things with this particular thing. And then it... It didn't have an engine with it, but it just had some random cars and a ton of track. Track isn't worth that most, but if you have enough of it, this is a shell. This is just some of the top of one. Now, out of all these things, what could be worth the most? Well, these are just something that you can piece out. Um, this 10 to $15, if that actually had wheels on it, about the same. Same with those. Track. This actually piece only goes for about 10 bucks. And this goes for about $15. But you start to add all these things up. And Lionel Trains will bring you a little money. So those are the Lionel Trains that we got in. These were trains a kid played with in the 50s. They are metal. That's why they're still around. They're cool. Now the other things I got in was a bunch of decanters. Decanters are Jim Beam. Jim Beam. Yes, he almost went out of business during Prohibition. But he survived. This is bourbon. Bourbon is the only American spirit that we can claim in this country. And he came out with a bunch of different ones. This one I think is kind of creepy. This is just from the stamp. His head comes off and you would get your Jim Beam. This cat was full of liquor at one time. No one likes a liquor-filled cat. It is kind of a little creepy, but if you like cats and you like bourbon, this is the perfect gift. This guy doesn't sell for as much as you think now I got two of these from states they would sell anything so these Jim Beams they did have bourbon in them this is from the great the wonderful world of Ohio there's the great seal Kentucky straight bourbon it's 120 months old that sounds really old but it's not that old you can see the stickers here you can see all the things you could do in Ohio Look, you can play football, of course, it's a birthplace of football, farming, you can apparently ride a train, skiing. See, this is one of the only states you can both ski and swim. Not at the same time. And you can actually fly in an airplane. Yes, they have airports here in the great state of Ohio. So that's it. This would obviously appeal to someone who lived in Ohio. One of the states, and one of the states that Jim Beam is from, is Kentucky. Kentucky's just our neighbor to the south. It, of course, is the bluegrass state. This state has everything, according to this bottle. Industry, horse racing, oil, farming. Of course, distilling. We know what they got there. Coal, tobacco. It's kind of old school. And, of course, recreation. Pretty much anything you would ever need if you were going to start a state. I can't think of anything else. Food, gas, oil, horses in case, and industry. This is an old bottle. This is for the 175th anniversary of the Commonwealth. They are a Commonwealth state of Kentucky. James, uh, Jim Bean did... And there goes his head. I told you these came off. And it's a horse's head. It's not a rook. It looks like a rook from a chess piece. Sometimes the cork doesn't. But there's how you put that cork on. It's a cool piece. 
Kentucky, of course, not one single pro team. Ohio has quite a few. We'll talk about this one in a minute. And then you had some strange one, Beam's Choice. This looks like a more for the art lover. There is a piece of art there, and this is by DeKaiser. And he took a lot of time naming this painting. This is called Man on a Horse. Well, it probably took him longer to paint the painting because he does look cool. He's, he's all right there. It's Jim Beam. It's Jim Beam's. It's, it's four-fifths of a quart. No one in the world would know what that means. But it's Beam's Choice. It's charcoal filtered. It's not in here. These are bottles that you can display. They're cool. They're nice. I don't know. This is for an art lover. That's for an Ohio lover. And, of course, anything to do with Kentucky. Now, this... This is actually a Jim Bean bottle, or decanter, sorry, of AC Delco, a spark plug. It's a spark plug, but the person who had this kind of repurposed this and put a Chevy service globe on it. You can buy these globes. These globes will actually cost you about $100, and that's just for the new ones. And they made it into a little lamp. That's why the lamp is here and not coming out here, because this is an actual decanter itself. It's made out of ceramic just like spark plugs are it will light up and you can you can light your way this is more for a man cave this would be down for a gearhead it's a cool piece it is repurposed it is going to be one of a kind what this will bring is actually this particular this particular is the most expensive decanter out of all three uh, all five this one can go for 30 to 50 dollars if you have the decanter with the sticker and everything else it's cool because it appeals to a couple different people the cat not a lot of cat and whiskey lovers about 10 to 15 dollars same on kentucky and ohio and this guy you'd really have to find someone who wanted that but the best one out of here of course is this because it's cool it's interesting and it looks awesome now there is one other piece that came in with the lionel set this is a bridge it's a bridge. You would put your track over there and go along the bridge. It is made by Lionel. You can see here that this is bridge number 316, the Lionel Corporation out of New York. This is USA made. Um, trains aren't as hot as they used to be, but that's okay. A lot of stuff is coming back from old vintage cards to trains to video games. So we're done with all these things. What is probably worth the most? I think this thing could bring, this has the potential to bring some good money. But just looking at the table, out of this garage, not garage, it's a basement. Although it looks like it was a wet basement. This is a Buddy L Ride On Dump Truck. Made of real steel. Buddy L! Now this is very cool. So kids would sit up here, they would ride, they could steer... And you can see that the truck has been through some things. The wheels are cool. It's the old cab. This this is very hard to find. These are some of these get hard to identify. Some of the original Buddy L's are worth a ton of money. This one has a tandem axle. That's what I'm having trouble finding. So if you know about Buddy L trains, if you know what you can find with the tandem axle and a ride on and everything else. That would be graciously appreciated. If you could write in the comments, I would love that. Because I have a few of these um, ride-along trains. They're cool. This could be restored to its former glory because these are all press metal. They're all great. They're all awesome. And they are from toys gone by. The seat often is missing. It just comes out here. And so is this little steering thing. Some of the later ones had actual steering wheels. You didn't steer this like you know a horse and buggy. So anyway, out of all these things, the train's really not worth that much, but five to ten dollars adds up. Even if these, even if you got ten dollars for all these, it's fifty bucks. Even if you got ten dollars for those four, it's forty bucks. This thing, this thing is something that you put online, you put on auction. Some other things you probably want to wait for, but this is pretty cool and it's probably impossible to ship. This particular item, you have to, you have to go back and see. Maybe I could get it restored to be worth more money. Or you let someone restore it. It still seems to be in pretty good shape. It has the original parts. It is probably from the 50s. That's my guess. 
I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, write a comment. If I'm right, go ahead, write a comment. Tell me I'm right. Because people like to hear that. Anyway, this is about the 110th video in a row. So I really appreciate everyone watching. I really appreciate you supporting Great Finds. And if you would, like, subscribe, share. Let people know that we have some cool stuff down here. There is Creepy Cats. There is all kinds of states represented. We can all ride a train. And if you can't get on the train, go ahead and ride that dump truck.